Hi, you guys. It's Dawn, but a lot of you call me... Spice Dawn. You sure do. And this is cool. Let me tell you, this is the upcoming warmer of the month. And in our idea share that we consultants have, that we can put things that we would love to have, a flickering candle type warmer was always highly voted on. So Sensi gave us a flickering type warmer. Now, that's just for a second because I'm going to show you what it looks like in the dark. Okay, you guys, I wanted to give you an example of how the new warmer of the month compares to other flickering devices or, in fact, real flame. Okay, so this is, of course, a real flame. Boy, I gotta tell you, I really had to look hard to find a tea light. Okay, now here are three electric candles. I myself am an electric candle snob. I have some pretty high-end flicker machines that cost a lot of money. And I have to tell ya, the flicker of our new warmer of the month is very, very comparable. And those other devices don't melt wax. So, that is just an example of how the flicker looks in the dark as compared to other high-end plastic, which is outdoor, Luminera, and wax, which would be then like an indoor. So really the plastic and the wax, you know, aren't really any different, but I wanted to have both as a comparison for the material on our warmer of the month. So, it's pretty good flicker, I have to tell you. It's pretty dang realistic. Bye. Now here's the thing, it's called Buy the Candlelight. And the box, when I unpacked it, I was like, oh, it's such a cute little itty bitty. Well, because candles are not big and giant, okay? And you see that the dish fits in here and it has like a, an irregular edge to replicate what a melted candle would look like. On the back, there's no cord switch like you're used to. On the back, it has a little flip switch. Okay, so that's different for us. But we have to talk about finishes, okay? Now, I honestly do consider myself like the princess, if not the queen, of fake flickering devices, okay? Because I fell in love with these years ago, and I've been buying them. We're not going to talk about how much they cost. <laughs> I don't want to call them to know, because we have a bunch of them. Those are the tea lights. Oh, my goodness. Those are the rechargeable tea lights. We have a flicker over there. We have a trio of flickers here. We have a flicker in the foyer. We have flickers in the bedroom. We have flickers in the hallway. We have flickers on the mantel. Don't we have some around the hot tub? <laughs> no, there's no flickers around the hot tub. <laughs> That's you, just you getting dizzy because you're in there too long. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, this is a brand from Sensi, and it is plastic. Now, let me explain something. This high-end brand that I have, I'll say it, Luminera, has two models. They have a outdoor version that is not susceptible to heat or melting, like half the country is in a warm climate. You know that wax melts. So, they have an outdoor version that is exactly like this, okay? Now, because I've got them above my fireplace, those are all the outdoor versions, because fireplace, melting, this had to be plastic. 
because I took one of those dang tea lights and I put it in one of our porcelain bisque and I also put it in a ceramic and you don't get a flicker. Those materials are too dense to make the warmer durable to, it doesn't give a flicker. It just doesn't, just trust me, it just doesn't. It has to be the thinner plastic so that the flicker shows. Just like those things up there. And I'm gonna show you, I'm going to insert a, a in the dark comparison. Some of their candles have a wax finish, which people are like, oh, that makes it feel more real. Yeah, but this is a warmer, like, you know the part where there's electricity in a heating plate? If they used any kind of a wax coating on this, I mean, it would get soft, it would dent, you would pick it up, it would be a mess. They had to use plastic. I know we're not used to seeing plastic on our Scentsy warmers, but if you want to get that flicker glow, it's the way it had to be. So, it's just to achieve the look, that's what they had to do. Because those ones are plastic. These ones, that one over there is wax coated plastic shell. But I'm just saying. Now, here's something you can do. Because this is a warming plate and the heat is up high, doesn't really, I left it on for a long time and I didn't really get much heat right here in the middle. So I'm going to take this beautiful shimmery ribbon and I am going to put it on mine. Now I'm gonna have to trim it up a little bit, but this, is going to replace that with my angel wings warmer because of the silver. So like you can dress this up a little bit, make it seasonal. You can customize it a teeny bit as long as you keep it somewhat low on the piece. You might want to use a narrower ribbon. This is what I had, so you might want to switch that up. But this is a lovely warmer and the price point is is right on with other competitive higher end products and they don't warm wax this one will melt your wax and make your house smell amazing now let's talk about this scent strawberry rose okay first of all i'm not like a big fan of the scent of rose i am a gardener I do perennials, I do annuals, I do container plantings, but I've never done roses because they get funguses and stuff. But one of the real reasons is I'm just not a huge fan of anything that's rose scented. So I was like a little bit scared at first. However, when you smell this, it is so delicious. I don't even smell any rose. We melted this in Colin's office because I had already put wax in my warmers that morning, forgetting that UPS was coming with this. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to change all my juju. So back in Colin's office, I put that and I used one cube and I got sent out of it for like three days. Now you make me feel special. <laughs> you are special. <laughs> but anyway, this is a really good strawberry. Okay, it's not like sugared strawberry. It's not like the one strawberry sweetie that we had. And I don't smell any rose. For those of you who love rose and you're tuned into rose, you might get a touch of rose, but I don't get any rose. So that is my story and I'm sticking to it. This is my tape dispenser because I was gonna actually tape that on there, but I can't really do that with out help. <laughs> so if my videos help you, uh, share them. And I have a Facebook business page called Spice Dawn Tips to Share. You know, you might want to go there because I share other things that aren't here on YouTube. Just like little quick videos on something, how to do this, or look what I did with this, or look how I styled that. So uh, you might want to do that or not. Your call. It's just available to you if you want some tips to share. Spice Dawn tips to share. So, hope this video helps you. Bye.